We started on uh, Thursday, Parag Shlishi of Tamadvara. Hayach Yargil Ha'adam Asmai Babidas Babidois Ha'chachma. How do we act with Chachma? So, even on a superficial level, that's a good question. <laughs> How do we act with Chachma? So, um, here we're learning something um, about Chachma. That sometimes a word means, you know, chachma, you should be klug, you know, you should be, you know, use your brain. But here we're learning chachma from a, a more of a Kabbalistic aspect, that chachma refers to the chachma of the keser. Keser chachma bina. Chachma bina das. So uh, chachma, as we learned last week, is, doesn't mean what we think it means. Um, but what, what we think it means, there's a lot of times, by the way, just a uh, yesod, a lot of times uh, when it comes to inyanim of uh, Kabbalistic expressions, we find out that the, um, that the normal usage of a word is just an example. It's not the word itself. Um, there's many examples of this, which is important to understand. For instance, um, the word for a, for a female in, in Hebrew is the case. But uh, the the uh, the real word means uh, um, the receiver or, or the keli. Asher nikvu b'ashemis. It says in the Chumash. Asher nikvu b'ashemis. Talking about the nesiim, that they they um, there's a certain sort of a distinction. Nikvu b'ashemis. That they were outstanding. That they they were holding something. That, uh, that nobody else held. They, they were a cleave for something very, very special. So um, generally speaking, um, whenever something is a cleave and it's makabel, it's nekeva as opposed to duchra or zachar, which is the, the no say. Um, an example of this is a woman who bears children, etc. Uh, but that's just an example. Uh, Mother Earth is also an example. Uh, the Adama is always Lashon of Nekeva, Adama. Not Adam, but Adama, that which is Makabal. It's Makabal the sea. Um, there's some, there's, there's, and you find uh, the Gemara says it like this the Gemara says, Ashrei mi Shebanov Zacharim. You're a good, you're a fortunate man if your sons are Zachar. <laughs> so, I mean, what does that mean? That they shouldn't be like Fegelach. <laughs> what, what, it, what it means is that. That their um, their mida not only are there, are they physically zacher their mida is a mida zacher also in other words a male is supposed to be a nose. so it's an example so the same thing is with chachma chachma is a lashon of duchar is a lashon of zacher so it's from the tzad yimin so chachma means the originating um, the originating idea where the the, the the creative part where things come from um, and then goes into bina which is makabel then. So chachma is not so much a way of doing things. I explained last week, like do it b'chachma. But chachma is a mitzvah. Uh, um, it's a thing. Chachma, chachma. This is the chachma. Chachma now that there's, I don't know, uh, uh, as I said last week, I don't know how many things in this world are actually original. Like, I don't know how many people uh, create a song uh-huh. that's original. What do you say, David? Original, original. Uh-huh. Sure, no? It's probably a sugya. Project. It's a project. <laughs> like it's a like what it, what it, like like where to come from, but Yeshtevar is that I guess that there that there is something which is completely creative. Most things are rips. <laughs> you know, you just rip it off somebody else. But uh, I, don't, I don't know with computers you can study these things and find out what came from where. You know, like it's the same. You you can you can find it out. So a totally creative idea is called uh, chachma. Uh, something which was was yesh mi'ayin is called chachma. Chachma mi'ayin timotze. Chachma comes from ayin. It's chachma is that first spark of something uh, the, the, of a germination of an idea, which 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 comes into bina, which then gives it mashmois, etc. So Akharish Baruch Hu is his chachma. Allah nemar marabu maasecha Hashem. Hashem created the whole world. Kulam bechachma asisa. They're all done with chachma, meaning that it's all original. Takarish baruch. It's all kulam. Every single thing that's in this world is 
God's original idea. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> like original idea, right? A porcupine. What am I going to do? <laughs> original idea, right? A brain, a kidney. These are all, um, these were not things that Akadosh Baruch who ripped off someone else because he is the originator of it all. So, Kula Mechachma Asisa. That's easy. Everything is made with this first spark of Chachma, and then it goes from there through the Zion spheres. Are you with me on this? Is the, is the, I want to make sure that the point is clear. It's, it's not, I don't, I don't know the English words, but it's not, it's not something which is, discre- it's not an adjective. It's, it's, a, it's a verb. Chachma, it's not a verb. It's a, it's a noun. It's a noun. The Chachma. An emanation. Why? Come from no, but em- no. The it, before the emanation, yeah, before. that's easy. You, you kept saying process also. That's the next step. First, you have to have the, the thing. Yeah. Then you process it. Then it emanates. Then it uh, stuff happens yeah. with it. So the first gilui. Okay, emanation meaning gilui. So the the first gilui of Hakadosh Baruch Hu is called chachma. I, I think it's just it's an important thing that's going to become more important. But even if it doesn't become more important, it's important. <laughs> that, that, it's, that's, what, that's what the word chachma means. So if you say somebody is a, uh, um, like the chacham from the Manishtana, yeah. So it's another way of saying anayarzach, yeah. Ma'avoyda is like, what, what's the, I heard what's a very strange thing I heard, I think, from the Balatanya. He said that he could never stand the Chacham from the Haggadah. <laughs> I'm not sure what it means, but I just uh, I was just away. I couldn't stand him. <laughs> yeah. He liked the Russia. <laughs> he liked the Tav. He liked the Adir Daily. So I didn't like the Chacham. I didn't like the Chacham. So, uh, but you see that also in Yiddish, is, is right, like when somebody, you know, yeah. Is it appropriate? He's the chacham for the Vanish Tano, right? So, like you see, there's such a thing. But uh, like, what, meaning, what does it, what does, what does it mean? Probably it means that take which Hakadosh Baruch Hu has given you, take Hashem's chachma, and do something with it. That's that's the chachma. Okay, so so that's what chachma is. It's the noun of creation, the ingredient, the first ingredients, the first germ of ingredients in creation. So Hashem. Marabu Masecha Hashem David Amal said, Kulam Bachach Masisa. Now comes the hard part. Kach Roy La Adam. So we also have to have this. What, what's there to have you light here? It's already here. What are we doing? <laughs> what, are, what are we doing? What are, what are we doing? What are, what are we being asked to do here? We understand Chesed. We understand Racha. What are we asked to do with Chachma? Kach Roy La Adam Shitiya Chachmasa Mitsuya. Ba koil. Be ye malame lahoyo, leave ne odom, lahol echad ve echad kifi kaichai. You should be able to spread your chachba to other people that are in need of it. I want to explain this is like a very, very deep thing. Komashi yuchalashpi ala mechachmasa yashpi ehu. Whatever, just like Hakadish Baruch Hu takes chachma. And he puts it through the whole Bria. So we too are endowed with Chachma. Not to just be smart, but with Chachma now. So take that Chachma and let it help other people uh, in a godly way. So, um, you would have thought he would give it. We would have given us telepathy. Telepathy. So, um, too dangerous. <laughs> huh? Too dangerous to let me. Well, then there's nothing left to talk about. <laughs> like a kind of a marriage would that be if we would both have a uh, who to know what the other person's thinking? Enough said. Okay. <laughs> okay. But, so, um, the, the other thing we looked about Chachma, just before I explained this, I think we can explain it, is that Chachma, we said, is Na'alemas, the first thing he said. When it comes to the Chachma of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, it's a hidden thing. Meaning, we see the Chachma and how it manifests itself in the entire Bria, but the Chachma itself is hidden. We don't always understand the Chachma. It's, it's a hidden thing. In our, in our 
the chach, person's chachma is not, um, doesn't show up on an x-ray. Can't see it. It's in the scabbard. Sometimes you really can't see it. But it's, it's <laughs> but a, per, a person's chachma is, there's something there. It's like, you know, there's like a different system. You know how like if, if you stand in front of an x-ray machine, so there's the whole system of the, uh, you know, of the nerves of the, of the uh, blood vessels and, and the bones and the muscles, but uh, and if and if you go to uh, you know somebody from you know an Eastern culture, that's Western. So in Eastern culture, all of a sudden there's like all kinds of new uh, things like uh, meridian systems, Chakras. right? There's there's all kinds of new systems. It's a different culture. So there's also now another. Um, I, ju I just read some place they asked. Uh, Gandhi, like, what does he think about Western civilization? He said, I think it's a good idea. <laughs> Consider it. <laughs> it's a good idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, so, the, the, so there's a whole different thing. Now there's a system, a Kabbalistic system, which with another, another level of x-ray, where the Chachma of the Kesser is completely nelemis. The Chachma of, the Chachma of Hashem is completely nelemis. So, um, okay. Let, let me let me uh, try to explain what I think this means. Alpi hamavarshim. I'm not saying my own um, my own Torah here. Alpi hamavarshim. Those that hung out with the Ramak um, said the following, and this is extremely practical. Uh, that um, when when we when we listen when we listen to somebody, or let's start earlier. When Hashem listens to someone. Davin. So there is hearing what he says, and then hearing even what he doesn't say. That which is nelemes. Um, it means that the chachma um, of Hashem is to be able to um, give forth, to be makabel and to be nice and chachma and bina. I'm going back and forth in my mind to start with a person, start with Hashem. Start with person is easier. Um, when when we um, when somebody tells us something, so there's there's two levels of hearing that thing. You can hear what he says, and you can hear um, what he doesn't say. That that ability to hear even what the person doesn't say is called the, the, what's what's required for that is chachma, a new a new element of, of Chachma. To hear what the person says, you have to hear. That's the one part of the brain I hear, I understand, I comprehend everything, I hear what you're saying. To, as they say in Yiddish, to hern and to der hern. Like there's another level of, of hearing that I really hear what you're saying, and it's not what he's saying at all, or what she's saying at all, it's a different level of hearing. This, in order to hear what a person doesn't say when they're saying something, um, yeah, requires Chachma, the, 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 the Chachma, which is, in other words, you're dealing at a different level on the x-ray over here. You're dealing with a different system. You're dealing with what that person is saying and doesn't even know he's saying, what you're hearing but what you're not really hearing. Now, we have this, this ability, and I'll, I'll show you where this comes from, but we have this ability, and this is the very practical part to be like, we all can be like Atmorim, you know, we all have to do this, that to be able to hear even that which is not verbalized, to be able to hear Chachma, which is Nelam V'Nizkeves, from Hashem, and to be able to give over Chachma, and to be able to hear Chachma from other people. I hope I'm being clear here. I, I don't feel like I am. <laughs> like what, what I mean to say is this. That once, like I said, there's, there's a, you know, you can take an X-ray of the brain, you get the front lobe, the back lobe, the serpent brain, you get all the, all the different parts of the brain. Beseder. Then you have the chachma, which is nelemes v'nisgeves, because we're, it, maybe it's like has to do with the nisham, but it, we know, we know that's, that's amateur. <laughs> the, the, what it really has to do with is the kesser. So the kesser, perforce, is lamalo mina seichel. So we're not talking about seichel. Talk about something which is higher than Seichel, to be able to hear um, what's really going on. So an example... What, what he means. Well, even more than that, I, I just... Um, not like, read, not like reading between the lines? 
so you're still in the level of seichel. Uh, I maybe, but you're still in the level of seichel. But Yeshayahu. Type of what? It's a type of nevuah. Yeah. Exactly right. So nevuah is the low level nevuah. Well, I don't know what level Tom. Maybe the high level nevuah. But nevuah, in the sense that it's something new. You're, you're hearing something completely new. It's not a rip. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. It's not like oh, I heard this during the day, so I'm dreaming about it at night. It's something new. Hence, it's called chachma. Example. Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, a parak in Yeshayo that we all know. Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, Yoimara Lekecha. So Yeshayahu is speaking in the name of Hashem, Yoimara Lekecha, and he's speaking to Kla Yisrael as the voice of Hashem, and he's saying, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami, you should be comforted. Dabru Alevi Yerushalayim, Hashem said. Dabru Alevi Yerushalayim, Vekiru Elav, Yimalot Svak, Yinirza, Vayne Kilacha, Miyad Hashem, Kifayim, Yimal Hatazah. Tell the people in your Shalim that everything is going to be okay. Hashem said to, through Yeshayo. Everything is going to be okay. They've suffered twice as much as they have to. Don't ask me why. But this is the puzzle that I'm, I want, I'm interested in. Puzzle Gimel. Kol koire ba midbar. Yeshayo who said. Everybody knows the first one. That's a negative in everything. What's kol koire ba midbar? Panu derech Hashem. Yashru Barava Mesila Lelekeno. Kol Kur translation. Kol Kur, a voice is called out in the wilderness. Panu Dara Hashem, clear the way for Hashem. Yashru Barava, straighten out the Arava. Mesila Lelekeno, make a straight line for all those, make, make a path for all those that are going to um, return to Yerushalayim. What does Kol Koire Bamidbar mean? We know a Kol Koire is a sign that comes up, you know, telling people who to vote for. But it's not, it's not, where is that, where does that Lushen even come from, a Kol Koire? What does it come from? It comes from here. Kol Koire Bamidbar. That's why I, I don't like the Lushen, because it says Rashi, Kol Koire Bamidbar, a voice is calling out from the Midbar. It says Rashi, Kol Ruach HaKodesh. Is that low level level? <laughs> Ruach HaKodesh. Yeshayahu says, this is not about me any longer. I'm saying Nevoah. Yeshayahu is a Navi. You're going to get your own Ruach HaKodesh. Kol Koire Mamidbar. And what is it saying? Panu Derech Hashem. Clear the way to your Shalayim Derech Yishalayim. Lashuv Gal Yoseha. Lasecha so that all those that are in Gola, Golos could come back. So there's a certain um, <coughs> inspiration and epiphany Yeshayahu talks about, which is when, when our ears pick up the voice which is coming, the Ruch HaKodesh, the voice which is heard in the wilderness. When you hear voices from the wilderness, I have a Ruch HaKodesh. So we don't see ourselves as having Ruach HaKodesh. We have to go all the way to Chvez Rosh HaDikra or something to get to, to meet somebody with Ruach HaKodesh. But, but um, no. Kol Kare Bamidbar. That everybody has this voice, hears this voice, but they don't know what they're hearing. They don't know how to analyze it. They don't know what to do with it. And the voice is saying, Panu Derech Hashem. Make way, make a road, make a Mesila. Like for... Flatten out the midbar, make the fill of the valleys, flatten out the hills. And this is so beautiful, by the way, just while we're here. And let that which is hilly become straight. Just first of all, it's amazing what's happening today, right? This is this is Hayahakev Lamishar. That it's coming from Hashem. Chazal understand that Yaakov Avinu became Yisrael, the Torah says. So Yaakov means Akov, Akov, crooked. 
it was crooked with the brachas, crooked, crooked with the bechayra, crooked with love on all tzaddik, all l'shem shemayim, but akov. People would look at Yaakov and say, akov. So, there's the, the, the uh, again, I'll talk about the elections because I never talk about politics, but you see the, the, uh, the, the, the new sides of, of, uh, of disparaging Netanyahu are they have him standing there like, <laughs> did you see that? Like with his, like, like he's like, uh, they turn him into a yeshiva buffer. <laughs> that's, the, that's the disparaging to me, that's the Bible. But <laughs> they got him with his thumb, with his thumb. Um, Yaakov Avinu was Akov, and then what happened? Hashem turned his name into Yisrael, which is a lashon of Yashar. So Yeshayahu says, "Vahaya Ha'akov, Lebishar." Everyone who thought that Yaakov Avinu was doing all kinds of dreidelach will now see that 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 his. And he became Yashar. All of those hills and all of those mountains suddenly retroactively became Mishar. That was the Bashmos of Yaakov becoming Yashar. Let me just tell you something while we're here. The, 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 uh, one of the Chazals that I, I uh, dislike <laughs> because I feel it's highly misused is. Um, People say, halacha hi, she'eisa of soinei es Yaakov, right? So it's a common chazal. Like, right? scratch a guy, get an anti-Semite. Eisa of soinei es Yaakov. Well, people are always asking Shilohs about, like, you know, are you allowed to, uh, you know, steal airline tickets and things like that. So... I said, well, what do you, I mean, you wouldn't go into the, uh, you know, into Delta, take out a gun, and, and you know, say, give me an airline ticket. So why is it okay to do it online? Like, what's the, what's, the, what's the hatter? Well, Ace of Sinus Yaakov. That's the, that's the hatter for That's why I don't like it. It's a total, totally abused chazal. Halacha, it's halacha. That's a halacha already. Ace of Sinus Yaakov. Halacha. Ace of Sinus Yaakov. So therefore, what? So therefore, like, we're enemies. Like, that's the enemy. Like, enemy, you want to kill your enemy. You want to do anything you want with your enemy. So I, I just want to say here a, a huge chiddush. You heard it here. You'll probably never hear it anywhere else. Ace of Sodei is Yaakov. He's not Sodei is Yisrael. The, 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 the Ace of Sodei is Yaakov, the anti-Semitism of the world, is, a, is an anti-Semitism against Yaakov. It's not an anti-Semitism against Yisrael. It's an anti-Semitism where they can draw on the Akov. Hmm. They can draw on all of the Dreidelach and Shtikalach and like even Lashem Shabayim was. But we've we've been forced like, throughout history to become shrewd. You know, and, and uh, that's that's what we are, we're shrewd. So like <laughs> you know, like so the, the, the simple goy <laughs> He's listening. He's like, he went, like, what's he up to? What's he thinking? What's he like? What's the agenda here? What's the, like you know, attributing a lot of chachma to us, which we have, but the chachma is always Yaakov. So um, Esau so is Yaakov. Esau couldn't stand that. That's that's a, even in Yaakov he couldn't he couldn't say it. like that's what he says. Isn't that what he says in the Chumash? He took my bechira, you know. Now you're taking my bracha. Yeah, you know, love it. What's with you, Yaakov? Like, so what kind of a, what, what's going on here with with Yaakov? But there's a nevuah of Yeshayahu. I, this is not covered for. I'm just saying. I'm saying this is over here. V'hayah ha'akov l'mishar. That Yeshayahu is, is saying in nevuah that 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 up and down those hills will become flat land. Yaakov will be called Yisrael. It, 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 we'll, we'll see. We'll see the Yasher. I, I just think that. You know, I and mean, it's true that, you know, I mean, I, I wouldn't take a walk around in the, um, you know, ISIS territory right now. I mean, there are people that are anti-Semites, I'm not saying, <laughs> I'm not saying not, or anti-humans, uh, but, but uh, the fact of the matter is that I'm not talking about that there's evil in the world, but, but just that, that this idea that everybody's an anti-Semite, Esau, so I don't know, first of all, if everyone's Esau, but, but we're past Yaakov walking into Yisrael now. So the real answer to the whole thing, the Messianic answer to the whole thing, is to become Yisrael. B'nai Yisrael, Kla Yisrael, Israel. And then Kla Yisrael, that's a, that's a, 
Ve'asiso es ha'yosher ve'as ha'toyv. Ve'en Elohim du Zayar says, es ha'yosher ve'as ha'toyv, kishimcha ha'nichbat. Like your name, Yisrael. Ve'asiso ha'yosher ve'as ha'toyv, kishimcha ha'nichbat. You have to be true to your name, and our name should be Yosher. So like a person should see, you know, I've always taken with, I remember I was talking, I was looking for, I went to visit the Reichmans once in the Olympia York building in Toronto to ask them for funding. So I was trying to figure out how to get the right elevator or something. So, so like, there's this elevator, that elevator, like a lot of elevators. So I was talking to the elevator guy in the building. You know the building? You know, I, I'm looking for talking to the elevator guy. So he says, oh, you're going to see the Reichmans. <laughs> he says, so I, he, says, he said, like, everybody knows that, you know, he, he, this was good too. He was telling me, he says, everybody knows that with him, if he gives a handshake, it's going to happen. Like, there's no need for, for documents. And it was the elevator guy. That's the shot to be, to be usher. So this, this uh, very non-Jewish elevator, okay, this is, like, so can you imagine if every Jew was known for this? Can, can you imagine such a thing? So, uh, so, so, Esav, Sardai, is Yaakov. Because there's a chat, this, <laughs> this whole derech, you know, but if we, if we would be Yasher, it would be a different thing. Okay, Nachser, Lidya, Nehru, says, Yeshayo says again, Kol Oimer Kra. Kol Oimer Kra. Kol. Be'es HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Oimer Eli says to me, Kra, call out. The Omar and I say, Yeshayo says, Ma'ya Kra. <laughs> what am I supposed to call out? The Omar says, Rashi, Ruchi, a love, Ba Ekra, Ba Kol, Be Shiva, Zoiskara, and the same call coming from a Kodesh says, Zoiskara, Kol, Habosir, Chatzir, Kol, Abak, Be, and Tehafe, Chdulas, and Matea, Kachatzir. Anybody who's a Balgaiva will become low, and everybody who's low will become high. The, the, the point is this what I'm trying to bring out is that uh, what Yeshayahu was Benava is, the, the Nevoah of Yeshayahu is that everyone will be in touch with the Chachmas Hashem through Ruach HaKadosh. Everyone will hear a voice from HaKadosh Baruch Hu um, on, on a regular basis and know what the Emmas is and know what to do. So this was, um, I'll give you one more example, Dabna Melech, and, and, and this is Yeshayahu Mem, easy to remember, but Dabna Melech and Tehillim Mem um, describes Matan Torah, and he says, when he talks about Matan Torah, and this is a, a, a Chiddush, I believe, also, he says, Zevach um, Mincha Loibikashta, and Harsina, you didn't ask us to bring Karbanas, Oznayim Karisali. That's the lesson I'm telling him. You gave us ears. You gave me ears, me meaning Knesset Yisrael, ears to hear. Some people learned that all of the voices and everything that they heard at Har Sinai was in, was in their ears. It wasn't even out loud, necessarily. It was it was in the ears. It's like a, a, a huge chiddush. But Aznaim Karisali, so there, the Chazal say in the Medrash, what's Pshat Aznaim, Medrash tell Aznaim Karisali, that we have ears to hear Gashmias. And we also have ears to hear Ruchnius. We can hear something different. What are we hearing? We're hearing the Kriya of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We're, by Harsinai, we heard the Kriya of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Yeshayahu is saying, Hu Yashmienu Shainis Baracham of Le'enei Kol Chai. He's going to let it, we're going to hear him again. That's what we say in Kedusha. We, we, we're hearing. So the, the trick here is, A, to have our ears open. But here the Tiger Torah says that's, so, so there's like three things here. One is the Chachma of Hashem. There is this noun of Chachma which is coming. We can access it. We have the antennas to access it. And that's what David Amel was talking about when he said, Oznaim Karisali. You know what it means? It means that we are able to hear and understand things if you can plug into this. That this, this is called the Ruach HaKodesh, which nobody else can hear. I don't know if this is reserved for Tzadikim. Uh, it's, it's reserved for anybody who I, I think that the Svarim say who, completely, who, who can completely become selfless for a minute. Just a minute. If you try to do it for the rest of your life, it gets hard because you get hungry. But if you could become selfless for just a minute, a minute. During that minute, <coughs> you're able to hear the Yisrael Rishar Shavoyda says that you, this, this can be done during short asray. Not only do you talk, but you can actually hear a voice from Hashem. 
I don't, I don't want everyone to become like a lunatic here. That's not what I'm <laughs> hearing voices. That's not what, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting that. I'm just saying that. that I'm just saying a yisod, which is that, that We have an ability to hear, just like we heard in Har Sinai, and just like Yeshayahu uh, told us, we have an ability to hear a uh, Devar uh, Hashem. We can hear Devar Hashem. That's the Chachma going through our Bina system. We become the Kali. And the Chachma goes through. We also have the ability, says Yeshayahu, to call Oymer Krav, Oymer Mayakra. Call it out. Now what we heard, say it. Say it to, to other people. There's a third level that we share it. We have an ob- what it means to say is that everybody has an obligation to share the particular Ruach HaKodesh that they received, the Chachma that they received. That's what we're dominating for when we say, Vesayn Chalkeinu, Vesayn Rasecha. It's not about the academic learning, like, can I get through this Gemara or not? That helps. But when, when a pre- person can be in touch with, 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 a, with a Devar Hashem, you can be in touch with them, and, and you, can, you, can, you can make that contribution to the world. But then comes the Tomer Devar and say, but now you want to be godly, so let's start the process from you. And you'll see this in the words in a second as we read it. Now, listen to other people. Listen to their like one thing is to give over your Ruach HaKodesh, another one is to hear their Ruach HaKodesh. I have here at the bottom, he brings from the um, Sefer Or HaMeir. That's, that's, uh, that's one of the big Hasidic Rabbis, the, uh, one of the Meir Parvish Slander, the Or HaMeir. Let's just read these words over here. Ish HaYorei V'Hashole. Ish hayare v'hasholim and get stuck right there. Asher chachmas alikim b'kirboi. Chachmas alikim b'kirboi. V'yerasei al panav. You ready? Yesh loy oizen shaymas has a certain type of an ear to hear things. Like you could have an ear for uh, music. You could have an ear. You could have a certain ear for ruchnias. What does that mean? A dimension which does not show up on sound waves. The people will come to you, he says. Sometimes a whole group of people. And they start talking about their, their issues. And their needs. A person is... Is is imprisoned? Is malubush in this very cloudy goof? Umaurav ba'ah begam is it part of like we're part of Gashmi? So we have Adam Afar and begam yesh begam chutzus a yesh avam toelus avodus habari miyochal ahalos halashiv dibre amel Hashem. I mean, what he's saying is that if somebody comes to speak to me, you can listen to his words, and you or you can also use the same chachmas Hashem, be godly and hear what the person is really saying. And I mentioned many times the Shabbosenu Kabel Ushmat Sakrisenu, we say in the Onabachoach. Shabbosenu is the Tfilos that we don't even know we're davening. There's a lot of words to, uh, for, for Tfilos. <coughs> Shava are words that we don't even know we're davening. Batal Shabbosam El Hashem. The Kleisros and the Mem Teshari Tuma, they didn't even know they were davening to Hashem for a Gula. They were like, okay, it's where we are, we're just trying to finish. We're, we're just, uh, you know, we're just uh, eingesetzt. You know, that's where we are. No, uh, Shavasa, but the Shavasa went to Akharish Baruch. Hu. When a person is speaking to us, so play God for a minute, we can hear the real Shava. And the real Shava has p- possibly nothing to do with what the person is saying. So just like we have an ear, a Ruchniyastik ear, to listen to the words of Akharish Baruch, Hu, Yeshayo speaks two things. There's also, we have an ear to listen to the people. And this is to be a, a big rebbe, every one of us, that we could we could hear what the. Uh, is it empathy? So, you know, there's there's a um, no because empathy you, you do, you're stuck in Gashmias, in psychology. Uh, there there's what sort of story about a, about a, sort of a story a Hasidic story about um, I think it was the young original. Carolina Rebbe, not this Carolina Rebbe, but a few Carolina Rebbe's ago, who, who became a Rebbe when he was 11. <laughs> and, um, okay, and they, and they gave him, uh, 
you know, when you become a Rebbe at 11, you know, like uh, they call in New York, you're, you're the RIT, you're the Rebbe in training. <laughs> you know, like you're not a, you know, like how does it, was it ought to be a Rebbe, you know. So uh, they give, they, they used to give, uh, if somebody became a Rebbe, like by inheritance, they would give him an old chassa to teach, to train him how to be uh, a Rebbe. That's the, even nowadays, the Belzer Rebbe was very young. Yeah? The trainers, <laughs> trainers to teach them how to be, how to, how to have Ruach HaKodesh and how to, do things like a rebbe. So, um, so this one had a uh, rebbe. So, so the the story that was mentioned was that on Arab Shabbos, the, uh, the 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 rebbe's rebbe, uh, the coach, the rebbe coach, um, came in and he sees that the the, the young rebbe is uh, packing his suitcase. He's going away. So, the, so he says, "So where are you go? You packing your suitcase? Arab Shabbos?" He says, "I'm going. I'm going to the fire room." So and so. Uh, for Shabbos, so he says, don't you know that the Rebbe's don't travel after Thursday, like the latest they travel is Thursday, Plaga Buncha, the Rebbe's don't travel on Thursday, they'll travel on Friday, where are you going? So he says, no, I have to go, I just got a telegram from, uh, from the guy, this guy with the farm, that his, he has one cow, and the cow is about to give birth, probably going to give birth on Shabbos, and he wants me to come there and say to Hillel, um, you know, that because if this cow dies, so that, there goes his whole Pardasa. It's a successful Leda, so that he has double Pardasa. And he's calling me that I should come to, to, to say to him with the cow. So I'm going, like I got a telegram. It's not something I can do on Sunday. I can't do on Thursday. It has to be on Shabbos. So the, so, the, uh, so the trainer said, you know, like you're a new rabbi. You don't understand that, you know, you don't have to go stand a by the cow and say to him, you can say to him over here too. Like, you can, like what do you have to do? You have to make a mishamer and show for the cow. Or, you know, what do you have to, you have to go lavish to the cow? Like he says, he, so, the, so the young rabbi said, he says, that's true. But he says, I figure like this, that um, he's calling to say that his cow is going to give birth and his cow is besakana. But what does he really mean? He really means that he's stuck out here on a farm. He never has a, a flavor of Yiddish kite. His children will never see the Rebbe. The, 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 there's no there's no so nobody's saying Divrei Torah at their table. So what he's really saying is he's looking for a, a thing. But what he's really saying is, please come to me for Shabbos. I'm desperate that the Rabbi should be in my house for just one Shabbos in my, in my own life. So he said, that's, what, that's why I'm going. It's not about the cow. It's not about the Mishaberich. It's about being in his house for Shabbos. So the coach said, OK, I retire. <laughs> you're, 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 a, you're a rabbi. Like, because, because if you're an amateur, you hear what the person's saying. But if you're really a rabbi, so now you can hear what the person is saying. So, you know, like, so that's us, us, that's the Lashon he says here. It's a big chassidish zach, chaznaim karisali. That's a lot of reading these words. Betoi chaznaim had gashmiim. Deep inside the gashmiim sticky ears, karisali oid aznaim ruchniim. I have another set of ears, inner ears, that are aznaim ruchniim. Boys in a gashmi lishmaya dvar gashmi. With my physical ears, I could hear physical things. I could hear um, the weather. I could hear science. I could hear physics. But it's all gashmius. It, you see, psychology. You got to be careful. Is is is, is that ruchdius yet? That's how the parts of the brain work that we know about. There's there's a different insight, mm-hmm. which a deeper insight, which is which is even a spiritual insight. And that's what Yeshayahu was talking about, is like, stop listening and start hearing. So there's somebody, Kol Kaire Ba Midbar. There's a voice in the Midbar. There's, it's Chachma. And you have to be able to 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 hop it and to hear it and to and to be able to do something with it and to, to and, and you have to hear the voice of Hashem and you also have to hear the voice of people. It's about the chach, having this chachma, just like Hashem can hear us even when we don't we don't even know ourselves what we're saying. Hashem could hear us. Forget about we don't know how to say it. We don't even know what we're saying. Hashem could hear us. So 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 too we could hear a Hashem. So it's, it's a two-way thing. That's what I'm saying. There's three parts to this. We can hear Hashem, or we can hear also people. So we 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 have access. We stood in Har Sinai. We prove we have access to the Kol Hashem. We, people stand in front of us. We have the access to the Kol, the, the deeper Kol. It's about the Chachma. It's about the the uh, 
and, and would we hear Dvar Chachma, we have to give the Dvar Chachma. When that person is saying <laughs> something, it could be invisible. We have to be able to pull it out. So this is the avoid here. Yeah. I, mean, I, I don't want to sound cynical, and I don't want to dilute the, the depth of this, but how do you, how do you stop going nuts? And you're listening to this, or you're trying to interpret this, or read this in someone else, or listen to this from someone else. You know, you know I'll tell you something. Um, there's two things. The simple answer to this is, um, you know, talk to an Adam Hashif, <laughs> because it's always good to throw, you know, something to make sure I'm not hearing voices, I'm hearing something which is, which is real. I mean, you know, everybody who's heard, uh, you know, uh, you know, who's heard the Navua, the Mashiach is coming, and who it is, you know, um, for some reason, every one of them have come to visit me. <laughs> so, um, okay, yeah, I don't know what they heard. You know, uh, people report all kinds of, uh, I don't know, you know, I never, you never know what to do with it. You know, people report all kinds of things. I said, how do you know it's the Dvar Hashem? Because whatever it's the Dvar Hashem, my knee starts itching. <laughs> I hear all kinds of things. But, uh, so it's a neurosis, you know, like, uh, <laughs> But for we ourselves, like you know, when, when you're when you're hearing the Dvar Hashem, you know it's Emes, and it's not crazy. It's not something crazy. Nobody's telling. Kaddish Baruch is not telling us to kill people. Kaddish Baruch is not telling us to go and get halacha. Kaddish Baruch is not telling us to to be weirdos. And Kaddish Baruch is giving us an insight. So the point is, listen to the insight. Don't you don't you ever find I, I uh, you know you know I'm not particularly sensitive, but I, I, you know sometimes you find like you know. Like when somebody tells you something, you get that first impression. You say, yeah, "This is not, this is not, you know, right." And then when you hear the person argues it out and talks, about, okay, like you know. But then at the end, you find out your first impression was the correct one. <laughs> I, I, I find even with people, my first impression is one way, and then I get to know them. I say I was completely wrong, and then I get to know them even better. I say, "Oh, I was right." <laughs> That's the. Uh, I'm just telling you my experience. But the 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 um, why? Because one is a function of of the uh, seichel, one's a, hash, a function of chachma, and 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 that's the difference. Like if 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 I prepare, let's say, or you prepare a dvar Torah, it's a function of the hour, two hours you spent preparing the dvar Torah. If you just say something spontaneously, that's a function of your chachma. That's that's probably maybe twenty, thirty, fifty years gone. It went into that one one uh, ex expression. I I I, I once. Uh, when I first became a rabbi, Sir of Scheinberg said to me, my rabbi said to me, like, how are the drushes going? So I said, it's okay, you know, I, but I find people tell me when, when, that I speak better when I'm not prepared than I do when I am prepared. So he said to me, that's easy, when you're prepared, you say your stuff, when you're not prepared, you say mine. <laughs> <laughs> Which was probably, <laughs> probably true, but, but, um, <laughs> but the 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 Omek is that when you're when you're not prepared, I'm not saying what should prepare, but when you're not prepared, there's a certain neshama thing that's that's going on there, and you can feel it's emes. You can feel there's a devar emes which doesn't get messed up by your seichel. So I'm I'm only saying that when, I think the, the the lesson here of the Torah dvar, I think it's simple, um, and, and let's not dilute the deep point that we have an ability, this is Yeshayahu's Chiddush, and David HaMelech's Chiddush, that as Nayim recently, he says, I have special ears. That's what David HaMelech said. And, and, and uh, Yeshayahu told us to listen to that voice, if you have special ears, the voice of Hashem, the voice of people. We have a special koach, whether, in which we have to get in touch with, of hearing um, Dvar Hashem and being able to hear, and therefore help people in a very, very deep way. Because if you only hear what they're saying, you know, Okay, no love. Maybe you'll have an eight, so maybe you won't have an eight, so go to a lawyer. But but if if you're if you're really hearing what a person is saying, you can really help a person. You, you really have a call to help a person. So how do you act in the sphere of chachma? How do you act in a godly fashion by listening in a certain type of a way to people? You know, listening is a big avoda. Most people, when they're listening, they're they're while the other person talking, they're already thinking about how they're going to respond, or worse. You know, I, I, I was uh, I was listening to two people talk yesterday in my house. So like, there was no Kesher Bechal in the conversation. He's talking, he's talking, he's talking. So I said, "Let me referee. Now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. <laughs> like, you can talk now. Now you can talk." But it, it didn't make any difference. They didn't care what the other person was saying. It was just uh, just talk, talk, talk. But you know, nobody's listening to what the other person said. Nobody's responding. So like, there's one level of, of of just really listening. That's a good start. And then that's that's um. That's the first part of the exercise. But the second part of the exercise 
is to, you know, just, just really listen. Like, don't even start thinking about how to respond until you finish listening. Like, that's the first thing. But the, but the deeper thing is to tr that, that we have a koach. There's a koach of Ruach HaKodesh. We have a koach of Ruach HaKodesh to be able to hear what the person is really saying. We have a koach of Ruach HaKodesh to hear what a Kodesh Baruch is really saying. It is Bamidbar. Padu Derech. Padu Derech. Clear out the way. Get rid of all the akov. Get rid of all the, 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 the cheshbarnas and all the things. Padu Derech. Let's just mesila ledvar Hashem. That's what's that's what's what's going to happen. This is what Yeshayahu is talking about. Nachavu nachavavi. What's going to happen when Mashiach comes? There'll be a clear way. We'll hear clearly. Hu yashmiyenu shenis be'ide kol chai. It'll be like another Bible Har Sinai. Hu yashmiyenu shenis. But it'll be this time. It won't be just Kla Yisrael. Ene kol chai. Everybody will hear. Everybody will see. This is a ruach hakodesh that'll be so so. Um, we'll know what to do. We'll know what to do because right now nobody knows what to do. So, so we need to be able to 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 meditate and zero in on this. How, how do you do it? Is is um, is further afield? When I get it clear, I'll tell you. But but what I what I what I really want to say today is that what the Tiber Torah is saying. This is slushed over here. Take what the person's saying, take the chachma that you're getting from a Kodesh Baruch Hu, give it to the person, and, and answer what he's really saying. Well, don't let anything else get in the way. And that's, that's something we need to know exists, and then figure out better, get better at, at accessing it. Yeah.